Hey, what's up guys? Adam here, and very early this morning at about midnight or so, Apple silently upgraded all five of their MacBook Pro models, so we now have two brand new 13-inch models, two brand new 15-inch models, as well as a new 17-inch model. So starting off with the 13-inch model, unfortunately none of these do have redesigns, so no redesign this year, unfortunately. So probably early 2012 there's going to be a redesign to the Macro Pro models, which I'm really looking forward to. So for the 13-inch models, like I said, there's two of them, and it's starting at $1,200 for the 13-inch models. And for the baseline, this features a 2.4 GHz dual core i5 CPU instead of a 2.3 GHz core i5 CPU. I really wish this featured a core i7, but unfortunately it doesn't. And the main upgrade here is that there's now a 500 gig hard drive instead of the old 320 gig hard drive. Now for the other 13 inch model, this one once again isn't the biggest upgrade in the world. It went from a 2.7 GHz core i7 CPU to a 2.8 GHz Core i7 CPU, this is dual core, and then uh, for the hard drive, this was upgraded, so it's now 750 gigabytes from the previous version of 500 gigabytes. Now heading on to the new 15 inch models, like I said, there's two of these as well, and the base model 15 inch features a 2.2 gigahertz quad core i7 CPU instead of a 2 gigahertz quad core i7 CPU, and there's new Radeon 67M graphics with 512 megabytes of video memory. Now the higher end 15 inch model once again isn't the biggest upgrade in the world. There's now 6770M graphics with 1 gig of video memory as well as an upgraded 2.4 gigahertz quad core i7 CPU. So guys, finally the final model for the new late 2011 refresh. This is the new 17 inch model which at that point is pretty much the size of a desktop. I'm personally not even a big fan of even the 15 inch models. Uh, so at this point, I'd highly recommend you guys pick up an iMac. But if you still do want the 17 inch model, this one does feature now a 2.4 gigahertz quad core i7 CPU with 6770M graphics. So guys, that is the late 2011 refresh of the new MacBook Pros. Let me know what you guys think and if you're going to be holding off till next year when hopefully we're going to be seeing a newly redesigned MacBook Pro. Anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching.